So I did that video from the only seeing one episode of season two and I thought let's let's talk about a few more episodes. I'm seven or eight episodes in now and it's it's very interesting having them all split up so you have to reconnect them all in the first place when the first season reconnected them in the first episode. So the second episode was crazy just because it was almost like nothing happened because every character only had a few minutes because they were by themselves. So it was a few minutes here and a few minutes here. And then this character has a few minutes and bringing them because they hadn't all been brought together. So you could have a bunch of scenes with them and different pairings of them. <laughs> so that was like, oh, okay. I mean, I get it because they're all separated but kind of kind of moving slow so far <laughs> and then I don't remember which episodes were which but I don't the handler so they brought back the handler who survived being blown up in the first season and they bring back the handler and it's super interesting I say that for every episode Ooh, interesting that's so interesting <laughs> interesting and I don't I don't really like her story because I don't think it makes any sense that she would get demoted like I just I don't buy it and I see now a few because that was around second or third episode that she you know we did a whole 10 minutes on her on her what's going on with her and she gets demoted because of everything happening in season one but then I, I get it now because she has a separate plot that she's going to be working against the employers. I don't know the agency. I don't know what they're called. But it makes sense that she would have, have to be able to betray her superiors, that they would give her motivation to do that. But I almost feel like we didn't need to know what that motivation is just because of how things are we yeah we don't need to know <laughs> what the motivation is like I would have just believed her wanting to advance and not being able to advance I like I didn't need that whole story of her going there were funny moments of that because she was sitting in five's desk <laughs> and yeah it was a little a little awkward there but I would rather have skipped it and had her still going through what she's doing to backstab and try to become the new owner. I don't even know what the title would be. The new head of this secret company, whatever they're called. The agency? I don't know what they're called. Um, yeah, so it, I don't necessarily like that, um, that little story of her getting demoted. But now it's fascinating that she is in their time, interacting with them, t trying to make a deal, which is also real confusing because she just sent herself back to a few days before another apocalypse is happening. So she obviously has to have a way out. She obviously has to have a plan <laughs> to get there, to do stuff. And again there's another briefcase so um what's his name had a briefcase cha-cha hazel can't remember which one's which hazel um had a briefcase he gave it to five got blown up doesn't work great but the handler has to have her own something special to travel don't know what it is if she has her own private briefcase don't know never seen her because she has all these extra things she can freeze time and unfreeze certain people we've seen her do that so I don't necessarily know how she's getting around but clearly she will be in every season clearly she's a survivor clearly she's gonna be there so, okay, we can develop her character, give her a daughter, which, um, 
at first seems crazy, but then it makes sense that she stole somebody's kid after she murdered the parents. And then she wants to use the kid as her own weapon, not like love and cherish, cherish a child just to use her. Like she uses five. She tries to have five as a little weapon in her pocket that she can use whenever she wants. And that's basically what her daughter is. So that that's an interesting development with her having a daughter working for her. Fair enough. <laughs> so it's definitely fun as I've seen the characters go through more characters, more of the siblings find each other, interact with each other. And I just saw the episode I watched this week was where they had dinner with their dad. Which, first qualm about this. He sent all of them this invitation to wherever they were which is absolutely ludicrous because it <laughs> the invitation says to my pursuers come meet me for dinner but the only people who are pursuing him is luther diego and five and they're all in the same place so it makes sense in that previous episode where we see Luther and Diego getting the letter from someone following them on the street. Okay, great. Fine with that. That's interesting. Go with that. But then in the next episode, we see everybody else getting a letter from their dad. And their dad doesn't know about any of them else. Vanya has no idea. She's only interacted with Luther and Five up to this point. So she meets Diego, and then she's meeting all these people. But she has no idea anything about her dad. She's not a pursuer of her dad. He doesn't know she lives at this farm. He, there, It makes sense that she would go to it. Of course she would go to it because she's with the boys when they're talking about their letter. But she wouldn't get her own letter. So that's annoying on its own level. <laughs> And same thing with Allison. Allison hasn't interacted with her dad in this time. She's not pursuing him. She doesn't know about him. He doesn't know her home address. He doesn't know why would she get a letter. The other guys were actually trying to catch him, trying to pursue him. Yes, they should get a letter. And yes, of course the whole family would go. They would all find out about it because now they're interacting with each other. But that was a side note annoying inconsistent but the dinner itself was awesome it was so spot on for their characterization person by person by person each moment you see all of them interacting with their dad and it's it's weird but it was very well done and that, I think that was episode 8 that I just saw, where they have dinner. And it is one of the best episodes of this season. Because this season's like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> we'll see how the rest goes.